Okay, what's up, everybody? This is a Chromebook developing for beginners. Uh, I'm gonna apologize in advance. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna run slow. Uh, this is like a hundred fifty dollar Chromebook. I'm broadcasting um, with this screencast right now. That takes up a ton of memory, and I'm also pushing my monitor on two screens. I'm pushing it to a TV, a fifty five inch TV. Um, so. And then we're running what we're going to run in the uh, in the little demo I'm going to show on top of all that. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple developer tools, web developer tools that you can use completely offline on your Chromebook. And both of these uh, both of these things are going to be available at the uh, web store. Um, and there are extensions or apps that run natively uh, on a Chromebook. The first one is um, it's called Material. Um, what is it called? I think it's called Material Neutron, and it is a uh, text editor. And it's going to prompt you to choose a directory, hit the plus sign, and then click Choose Directory. I promise you, pulling up your file system will not take this long. I had to make this video. I thought some, I thought the program had crashed the first time uh, I pulled it up, but it's just uh, it's just the fact that uh, I'm running the um, screencasting software on a really cheap Chromebook, and Screencastify is a good program for that. Uh, your options are a little limited with the Chromebook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, a new folder. I already did. It's an empty folder called Project, right there. And we're gonna just click open. This is gonna be your root directory for your project. And then this field is gonna be the name for your project. So we'll call this uh, test. Click OK. So now you notice up here you've got test. We'll click on test. Let me right click on test. And then create a new file. And we'll call the file name index.html. And it's going to open up a new file for us. And then we're just going to do a quick little and see it's it's got a nice it's based on the ace editor if you're familiar with the ace editor um, it's built on the ace editor engine but it does that auto auto complete for you well not auto complete but auto replicate I don't know what it's called but if you type a body tag it gives you the other side of the body tag uh, which is pretty neat and puts your cursor right in the middle. Put a couple styles in real quick. <coughs> Little font size. background really don't need to go to all this <laughs> all this length but okay I think that's enough um, all right so we've got that we've got our index HTML I'm gonna go over here and click save and now I'll show you the second program just called 200 okay it's just a, it's a web server you can get this on the web store as well. Just look for 200 OK web server or 200 OK.
And this works nice on the screen. You can split it up like that, especially if you have um, a, a bigger monitor, I guess. Oh, so here, this is the on and off switch for it. And here you choose your folder. So we're going to go in. And again, it's going to take a million years to load up. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually, I promise you. So the whole point of this is so you can you can work on stuff if you don't have an internet connection. Um, you can work on stuff on your local machine with like some actual decent, a decent text editor, not some janky uh, notebook. And this supports multiple, this supports multiple languages. Um, We go into settings here, uh, multiple key bindings, font size, different themes. Um, I forget what, all the different extensions that it's um, that it supports, but when you create your file, you just put a different extension on, and you'll get different results. So anyway, uh, we're going to start our web server, and then it's going to give you an IP address right here, uh, and you can configure your port here, but uh, as long as it's above, I forget what number, you're good to go. And then you have a bunch of different options. Just click on that, <laughs> and boom, uh, you're going to get... you're going to get online. So I've tested it and it works offline. Like I'm online right now, but it totally works offline. You can work on web pages. Obviously you can't, um, you can't be calling out to APIs that, uh, you know, you need internet access for, um, and stuff like that. But you can do quite a bit of stuff, especially if you download, um, if you actually, instead of using a CDN for um, whatever library, you download the library and put the library in into your project, you know? So basically here, now, now we got our server running. I believe we should be able to go An update. Rip hello again. Save our file. refresh our page and now we're <laughs> now we're cruising um, and you can add uh, you know you can add whatever you want and you, you could probably come up with something you could probably come up with some good configuration to have everything viewable um, See what we can do. There's actually a toolbar. You just can't see it. It's all, it's all, it's kind of all this like matte black color, which is pretty cool. But if you're willing to, if you're willing to sacrifice, and honestly, you don't need the server. You can you can cover the server up, and have a little more width, but. Hola. There you go. Now you're playing with the big boys. <laughs> you're working offline, I promise. 
All right, that's one developer tip, Chromebook style.